Hello everyone, in this video we will see how can we create a report that displays only the latest record which has been created in a particular table. This might be useful to show it on dashboard where you want to display the latest record and just one record which has been recently created to the support team or maybe to the end user. This was also asked in one of the recent community questions so I thought of making a video on it. Let's quickly go through the logic which will be used in this report. First of all, we will create a new script include and a function in it. And in the function, we will create a write record query on the target table. And in that query, we will apply the query whatever we want. In our case, it would be getting the latest active record. And we will put another condition there which will ensure that we are fetching only one record. And then finally, we will call that script include in the report. I have already written this script include and I will paste the code in the description of this video as well. Let's quickly jump to service now. Now we are in service now and you can see I have written a script include called incident util and it is client callable. And then I have written a function called get latest record and I have declared a variable to store the sys id of the result or of the record which we want to display that means that is the latest record. Then I have written a glide record and then I have added a dot add active query. So that means it will return all the active records. Then I have set a limit here to only one. That means it will only return one record. And if you see this particular line, I'm ordering all the records which fulfill this query by sys created on that is the created date and in the descending order. So that means the record which was created latest will be on the top and there will be only one record because of set limit as one. And then I'm querying this incident table and I'm checking if incident dot next and that means it will move to the first record and then I will store the sys id of the incident which has been fetched by this glide record into a variable which we had declared here incident sys id and I'm returning that sys id. Now let's go to reports. I will create a new report and here I will try to call the script include which we have created. I will name the report as incident demo and I will select the table as incident. So you can change your table based on your requirement and then I will click on next and then again next and on the community question they only wanted to see the incident number or the project number. So for that what I will do is I will remove all other columns from the right hand side to the left and only the number will be displayed. I will save this report quickly and you can see right now only number is displayed and then I will put a filter condition here and I will say here sys id is and I will call my script include from here and for that syntax is javascript then a colon and then new and then you have to give the name of your script include which is incident util. So I will paste it here. Then these brackets dot function name. And my function name is this. And then again brackets. And that's it. I will save this record. And we will be able to see the latest incident in this instance. If we quickly verify this, I will open the list of the latest records in service now. And I will sort this with created date. I will just add the created date here. And then I will sort it according to created. So you can see this is the latest record which was created two months ago in my personal instance. And if we see the number as 10033 and this is the one which is being displayed here. Now if you want to add any more columns you can move the columns from here to right hand side. Or maybe if you want to display multiple records then you can go to this script include remove this set limit to two maybe if you want to display two records and then return those sys id in an array and you can further enhance this functionality. I hope this video was helpful to you. 
let me know in comments if you have any questions thank you for watching this video